In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. What would it take to convince you to drop everything? To leave your family, to leave your job, your friends? What would it take to convince you to drop everything? Maybe it's uh, a, a large amount of money. Maybe it's an opportunity to be a celebrity or, or somehow, some way that your wildest dreams can come true. Maybe those are things that would convince you to leave. But today in the gospel, Christ doesn't offer any of those things to the disciples, to Peter and Andrew. There they were, just minding their own business, fixing their nets, which get torn from their night of fishing. And Christ comes and he says, simply, follow me. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. That's all he says. And they get up and they follow him. They don't say, who are you? And what are we going to do? What does it mean to be a fisher of men? They just answer the call of their Lord. So the better question isn't what makes us change our lives, but who? Who is the one calling? Because Peter and Andrew encountered in that moment their creator. And they encountered him in his power, his authority, his beauty, his grace, and his wisdom. And a part of them recognized this is the Lord. And so they dropped what they were doing. They dropped their nets. They left their lives behind to follow him. And this is how we change. This is how we become saints, how we become the people that the Lord wants us to be, is through encountering, through meeting the creator. Only by meeting the Lord will we be convinced to change our lives, to stop what we're doing that's sinful, and to follow after him. It's only, we can't hear about Jesus secondhand from other people. It's not good enough. We need contact with the Lord himself, just like Peter and Andrew had. The good news is that every moment in our day is an opportunity to encounter the Lord. Every moment is a moment where we could try and meet the Lord. But so often we're not thinking about him. We don't set aside a moment to meet the Lord, to have that life-changing encounter. So that is why it is so important that we do our morning and our evening prayers, that we set aside two moments, one at the beginning and one at the end of our day for the Lord. A moment not just to say our prayers quickly to get them done, but a moment in which we say our prayers as a meeting with the Lord, as an encounter with him. That's, that's the time, the little short time in our whole day that we have set aside to meet the Lord, to be in his presence, to feel his love, to feel his power, to honor the fact that he is our creator and Lord. And if we really meet the Lord in our daily prayers when we get up from bed and before we go to bed. 
our lives will change. Our day will change. Because like Peter and Andrew, the Lord wants to make something new out of us. He wants to change our lives, to make us his disciples, and for us to go out and then make more disciples and change the world and draw people closer to one another, but even more importantly, to draw them close to the Lord himself. Amen.